So we go up to the start for the University Cox Fours, the Prince Albert Durham University A crew are on the far side, on the left of your picture. And closest to us, we've got the oarsmen from Imperial College of London. This one's a great showdown between two very strong university crews. Wouldn't like to call it. Yeah, yesterday's racing, Durham University put in a two minutes to the barrier and uh, I was surprised when I looked at the times because I see with 2.04 and 3.29, 3.24 Durham posted. So they are the quicker crew and it looks like they've taken an early lead. Those times would suggest that they are the favourites for this race, Jess. Yeah, absolutely. Looking at the times yesterday and actually Durham has slipped maybe a canvas at the end of the island. A little bit slicker. Over there in that light purple, that platinum colour compared to the royal blue of Imperial. It looks bouncy out there, Martin. Got a bit of a bounce in the water. Yeah, there's some of the launches coming down making quite a bit of wash. Normally you expect first thing in the morning when you get on the programme, you're not going to have such a difficult water. But uh, I wonder if that's Wade or Crag cycling along. You can see yeah, it's difficult to follow the, the, the crews along the bank, but this early in the morning you can. Durham program led by a former British international sculler Whitehall Craggs got a great coaching team up there to help him and that was off the start we now go down past halfway so it's the Imperial College crew is that coached by Pete Harcastle? Pete Harcastle's coaching that crew yeah the Australian international and they've not they've not let them slip to be honest they're staying in touch with them kept us length I'd say from this angle those Durham boys, I tell you what, they know how to train. I went and trained with them for a little while when I was up at Durham ARC. And Wade has a tough, tough programme. They train up in the Tyne, relenting, freezing cold winters of training. And he knows how to get the most out of his athletes. And these look like four very strong guys in this boat here. Well, you know, they are probably, that came into this as one of the fastest domestic crews, winners of championship Cox fours at the British University Championships and the Met, and they've got the likes of Casper uh, Woods in the three seat. We're looking at the Durham crew there, talking about St Paul's. Durham, Darielle Gorkin, Ryan Todd Hunter, James Vogel and Oscar Lindsay, who won the Princess Elizabeth Cup. Imperial come right back, 2016. look at this. Well, Durham, yeah, Imperial. Got, Just out of our shot, they well, come right it, back. It's like, it's like Durham have stopped. That's sensational. What's happened there? I really, really don't quite understand how how the Imperial crew could move through so quickly. An incredible move. We've got someone like Casper Woods in the three seat, uh, who was in the final of the 2016 Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup with St Paul's is a junior world champion in the Coxes for that incredible four that uh, dominated their event in uh, Trafalgar Lithuania last year. You've got someone of that quality. I mean, you, you're never going to be out of a race. And what a move, Jess. These guys, look at them. That's got to feel amazing. You're sitting, you can't see the crew next to you, and suddenly, there they are. You've sucked them up and you're spitting them out. There they go. They're moving past. They're actually moving through, and that's really impressive move in the middle of this race. So we're looking at the Imperial College crew there, Alex Ball, the 22-year-old in the stroke seat. Uh, Casper Woods, we talked about him with that uh, distinctive hat on in the three seat. Uh, Ollie Hines at two, French national champion in the Cox four. And uh, Dave Simmons in the bows. So previously under 18 world champion in the moth dinghy sailing and took up rowing at university. And suddenly this Durham crew just look a little bit heavier. It looked like they kind of hit the brakes a little bit. I don't understand that move that the Imperial College made. I mean, you know, Durham must have slowed down. Something must have happened to those guys in terms of, uh, I don't know, they look really sharp and bright off. But, you know, I know Imperial probably had a big effort, but they really did move through so quickly in the middle part of that race. And they're bigger guys. If you look to them in their purple, they look a lot bigger than these Imperial boys in the left. But you know, they've got such a good rhythm, found their stride, they kept their heads through the middle of that race. That's really impressive to see from this university standard of rowing. So Imperial College Boat Club there, it's the back of Dave Simmons, the 19-year-old, Cox, Wilfred Rock. You can just see his uh, shades and head. Soak so this up now, coming down through the enclosures, a few last hundred metres, knowing they're going to the weekend of Henley. 
Well, well, I think you want to conserve some energy, Martin. Yeah, it's, it's like a bit of a rewrite of the 2016 PE because Oscar Lindsay, the Italian, won that event. Three seat of the Darren crew, and then he beat Casper Woods, the uh, St. Paul's well, as in the three seat of the Imperial College crew. So this time it's the result going Casper Woods' way, and uh, the Imperial College Oarsman has really anchored that crew from the three seat. Great result. Rode through the Durham University A Club crew, took that early lead. Yep. And it did look effortless. Durham hanging, hanging in there, but uh, very, very impressive middle part of the course.